I'm Adam. And I'm Bubbles. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Hey, Bubbles, how are you today? I'm doing quite well, thank you. I had a fantastic time bird watching yesterday. There were so many colorful and interesting birds around. That sounds like a lot of fun, Bubbles. How'd you get into bird watching? As an elephant, I have a pretty good view from up here. One day, I noticed some beautiful birds flying around, and I became curious. So, I started watching them and got hooked on learning about different bird species. That's fascinating. It's always great to learn something new. I love sharing my knowledge about animals with kids. It's amazing to see their faces light up when they learn something new. Plus, it's a great opportunity to promote conservation and awareness. That's kind of why I do what I do. That's one interesting animal fact you like to share with them. I often tell them about the African elephant's incredible memory. We elephants have a remarkable ability to remember locations of water sources, recognize individual humans and other animals, and even remember past events. It's a fun way to show them how amazing animals can be. That's a great fact. It's essential to inspire curiosity and respect for nature and kids. In today's book, we learn all about crocodiles. Let's get started. The Truth About Crocodiles Seriously Funny Facts About Your Favorite Animals by Maxwell Eaton III. It's quite a tale. We're silent hunters. Most of the time. These are crocodilians. Some people call all of them crocodiles. We call them crocs. Crocs and socks. But why? What's with the hat? It's my birthday. Crocs can be found in tropical and subtropical wetlands, rivers, ponds, lakes, and coastlines all across the world. There are three croc families. Here's how to tell them apart. Within the three families, there are at least 23 different croc species. Think of the teeth. Crocodiles. Top and bottom teeth visible with mouth closed. Now let's keep it closed, buster. Pointy snout. Habitat. Saltwater and freshwater wetlands, rivers, lakes, and coasts. Alligators and caimans. Only top teeth visible with mouth closed. I don't like to show off. Rounded snout. Habitat. Freshwater wetlands, streams, rivers, and lakes. The gharial. You can tell it's me by my bubbly personality. Long, narrow snout for catching fish. See you later. All crocs are reptiles, like turtles, snakes, and lizards. Reptile check-in progress. No biting. Cold-blooded? Check. Backbone? Check. Armored skin? Check. Breathes with lungs? Check. Usually has four legs? Check. Lays eggs with hard shells? Check, please. Cold-blooded animals don't burn energy to stay warm, like humans do. Instead, they depend on the warmth of the water, air, and ground around them. Crocs may actually be more closely related to birds than they are to other reptiles. This feels right. Crocs can walk and run on land, but they're most at home in the water. Powerful tail for swimming. Crocs often keep small rocks in their stomachs. One theory is that it allows them to keep more air in their lungs without floating so they can stay underwater for longer. My dentist is furious. They can hear, see, and breathe above water while floating. Australian freshwater crocodile. Ears, eyes, nostrils. Someone's nose is whistling. Webbed hind feet for steering. Crocs can rest underwater for hours. Some female crocs lay eggs in mounds built out of grass, leaves, and mud. The mother lays them at night and then covers them up using her hind feet. Many creatures enjoy a tasty croc egg, so the mother may guard the mound until the eggs hatch two to three months later. Or a shovel if it's handy. I just sit on my eggs. May I help you? 
Who put these in my hands? Other crocs simply bury their eggs in a hole in the sand. Thanks, Mom. Female crocs may lay from five to more than 20 eggs. Is that a lie? Did I ever tell you about the my crocodile encounter? No, please tell. Well, I was out in the Australian wilderness, enjoying a peaceful morning of bird watching by a river. I had my binoculars and everything. You won't believe what happened next. I'm all ears, or should I say, all trunks. What happened? I was so engrossed in watching a group of colorful parrots that I didn't notice I had wandered too close to the water's edge. And you won't believe it. Suddenly, I saw a pair of eyes peering out from the water. I thought it was a particularly sneaky bird at first. I can imagine you trying to identify a bird with eyes like that. What'd you do? I decided to get a closer look. I slowly moved closer to the water, and that's when I realized it wasn't a bird. It was a massive crocodile, camouflaged perfectly in the water. My heart skipped a beat. That sounds like a close encounter. What'd you do next? I knew I had to be careful, so I backed away slowly and quietly. You see, I didn't want to startle the crocodile. After all, I was just there to watch birds, not wrestle crocs. Did the crocodile eventually leave you alone? Thankfully, yes. It seemed disinterested in me once I backed away. I kept a watchful eye on it from a safe distance while continuing my bird watching. It was a lesson learned sometimes, the wildlife can be more exciting than the birds I'm watching. When the baby crocs are ready to hatch, they make mew sounds like kittens until their mother digs them out. Did somebody say kittens? The mother will then carry them in her mouth to a safe place in the water. She may watch over them for almost two years. It's my birthday too. Mew, ew, mew. Oh. We should have a party with a piñata. Can you answer a few questions? American alligator hatchlings, six to eight inches long. Please don't sneeze, please don't sneeze, please don't sneeze. A baby croc often weighs as little as a stick of butter. Mmm, buttered kittens. They may start life small, but some crocs grow large. Saltwater crocodile, Crocodilus porus, 20 feet long, 2,200 pounds. Habitat, rivers, wetlands, lakes, and coasts of Southeast Asia and North Australia and Southwest Pacific Islands. Tasty menu. And large crocs need lots of food. Croc diets include wildebeest, zebras, buffaloes, rodents, frogs, possums, seabirds, snakes, humans, lions, lizards, turtles, fishes, Herons, monkeys, geese, porcupine, cattle, dogs, cats, rabbits. What's the next to snakes? Pigs, crabs, seabirds, other crocs, armadillos, clams, bats, hippos. The smallest crocs are the Culver's dwarf caiman and the African dwarf crocodile. Both reach about five feet in length. It's not a competition. Hunting takes patience. Crocs will float silently like a log, watching for an animal to approach the water's edge. They wait, and 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 wait, until... What's the hold up? Five, four, three, two. We'll hang the piñata up there. Some crocs put sticks on their snouts to attract birds building nests. No, thank you. Three sticks. Great spot. Armored skinned. We'll see. The croc powered by its muscular tail bursts out of the water with its jaws open. Ha ha! It thinks we're seabirds. Mama! Ah! My clipboard. Crocs have the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom. That can't be right. Crocs have lots of teeth but they don't actually chew. Instead, the teeth grip the prey while the croc rolls wildly and whips its head around to tear the food into pieces it can swallow. They sometimes even swallow their prey whole. Candy. Cool. 
A large Nile crocodile can swallow an entire impala. I don't know if I'd be a fan of all those turtles and lizards poking and prodding me. It's almost like the crocs are having a doctor's visit. Sitting in the waiting room is the worst part. This one time, I was waiting in the doctor's office, feeling a bit nervous. But then, I noticed this beautiful poster of birds on the wall. It had all these colorful illustrations. I couldn't resist but start identifying the birds, and I got so engrossed in it that I almost missed my turn. Typical bubbles. Bird watching everywhere you go. But what about the actual test? Were you okay? Well, the tests were fine, a bit uncomfortable, but nothing I couldn't handle. The funny part was when the nurse had to take my blood pressure. She looked at me and said, I hope your heart is as strong as an elephant's. We had a good laugh about that. Once inside the croc's stomach, acid breaks down the meal. Bones, beaks, claws, quills, feathers, fur and all. What about candy wrappers? Sorry, ma'am. And clipboards. Many crocs are dangerous, but there are ways to avoid being a pinata when traveling in croc country. Cross country no-nos. Swimming in known croc territory. No jackpot. Traveling in small or unsafe boats. No. We've sprung a leak. <laughs> Camping next to the water. No. I hear drooling. Having food near the water. No. The cake is ready. Feeding, approaching, or annoying crocs. No. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday. This is definitely annoying. Although crocs may be dangerous one on one, they face many threats from humans as a species, especially hunting, habitat loss, and pollution. But you can help by reading about crocs and then teaching others, because crocs are magnificent animals. Does it have to be all three? And because it's my birthday wish. Wow, thanks, Miss G. World Croc Ranges. Feel the vision. Croc feet. Front five toes unwebbed or partially webbed claws on three inner toes. Back four toes webbed claws on three inner toes. Note, a caiman may live 30 to 40 years. An alligator may live 40 to 50 years. A saltwater croc may live 70 years. American and Chinese alligators often rest in underground dens in the winter. Found noisemaker? Inside the egg. Sub-audible vibration, S-A-V-S. Special calls that travel far underwater, so low pitched that humans can't hear them. Make water dance over the alligator's back. American alligator. One time when I was teaching my students about the differences between alligators and crocodiles, we were talking about the habitats and range. Then I showed them pictures of the two animals. Did they have any funny questions or comments? One student asked if crocodiles and alligators ever had tea parties together. Another one thought they might exchange fashion tips. What did you tell them? I explained that while crocodiles and alligators might occasionally cross paths in the wild, they don't exactly sit down for tea and don't care much about fashion. What do you think they do care about? Pretty much exclusively eating. They should stop and smell the roses. Or listen to the birds sing. Or watch YouTube videos of read aloud. What a shameless plug. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm Adam. And I'm Bubbles. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Did you know crocodiles can't chew food? Their jaws can't move sideways, meaning these reptiles can't grind food down in a traditional chewing motion. Most of them tear off chunks from their prey and then swallow them whole. It isn't difficult for them since crocodiles have the strongest bite in the animal world.